today we are going to write a letter to your boss. today's video in the youtuber series today we are going to write a letter to your boss if you have not checked out the previous letter in which we wrote um, to a friend make sure you check this video uh, I will link it up below up, up there uh, so today our focus will be on informal versus formal distinction vocabulary like always and the structure so let's get started the question is, your manager has asked you to arrange a party for a colleague leaving the company. Write a letter to your manager. In your letter, suggest a suitable date and time for the party, recommend a venue, propose the food and entertainment options that should be available. Just uh, to remind you, in this kind of a letter, we are going to, one, uh, write three to four different paragraphs. Three is the best um, approach, I think. We are going to start with um, Dear Mr. Holmes, I just wrote a little bit of a Sherlock joke here for you. Um, you can start with Dear Mr. or Dear Ms. blah blah blah. Um, and then because I'm a Sherlock fan, all the Sherlock fans, put your hands up. Because I'm a Sherlock fan, I decided to write Dear Mr. Holmes and then comma and then we're going to continue. So in the first paragraph, remember we are introducing the idea. You want to be very crisp and clear. You want to be crystal clear why you are writing this letter. Um, you want to be very clear about why you are writing this letter. So I have written, I hope this message finds you well. You want to add a little bit of nicety in there. I am writing to propose arrangements for the upcoming farewell party in honor of our colleague, Sam, who is leaving the company. So I am giving one sentence in which I describe why I am writing this letter. And then this sentence is also a compound sentence, a complex sentence, actually, I'm sorry. So we have a little bit of a relative clause in there, which is really important. And then I am con concluding the first paragraph with, well, I've made initial plans and I would like to get your input. So I'm kind of giving the person a little bit of a, a background on why I'm writing this letter and what I expect them to do. Next, one thing that I would like you to pay attention to in the first um, paragraph is that I have uh, really taken it upon myself to paraphrase the question. For example, the question says, arrange a party. I have said, propose arrangements. So I'm changing the word a little bit. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Instead of saying, leaving the company, I have um, put um, a farewell party in honor of our colleague. Um, maybe in retrospect, I could have changed who is leaving the company. We can say who is changing uh, their job so that it would be a bit more different maybe lessons learned. In the next paragraph, I am going to get into the details of the letter. So I've written, I suggest hosting the event on Friday evening. We have to end the question. It says suggest date and time. So I'm going to be very clear about it. I suggest hosting the event on Friday evening to ensure maximum attendance. So um, I am also adding uh, to ensure maximum attendance. This is going to help with sentence structure a little bit and expand on the ideas a little bit so that we're not just throwing ideas out there. You know, I could say Friday evening, restaurant, music. No, we are going to elaborate just a little bit on it so that it becomes more, well, more interesting. And also it gives me a little bit of space to show that I know words, I know vocabulary, I know grammar. I suggest hosting the event on Friday evening to ensure maximum attendance. Then I am using a present perfect to talk about what I have done already. I could say I suggest blah, 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 but instead of saying that, I'm saying I have booked Darling Restaurant due to its central location and welcoming atmosphere in a diverse buffet-style dinner with options for all dietary preferences. So in this letter, I would really like you to think about getting really creative with the concept, with the, with the content. In uh, this kind of letter task, I would really like to, you to get very creative with the content. I could say like just 
venue, time, blah, blah. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to get a bit creative. I'm just saying like dietary preferences. The reason why I'm telling you this is that if you get a bit more creative, you can actually write the words that you know well and kind of relate them to the question. For example, um, in the question, it does not talk about dietary preferences, but because I know that word and because I know it's a good combination, I want to include it. And the good thing about task one is that you have the option to get a bit creative. And then I conclude with the entertainment option. A local band will be playing live music all evening. So again, I am using will be playing to showcase range. So in this paragraph, I have I have booked present perfect. If you don't remember how to build that, check out this video. I am using, um, I suggest hosting. Hosting is a gerund verb plus ing. Um, that is also a great addition to this whole grammar, this whole um, paragraph from a grammar perspective. And then I am adding a local band will be playing live. So I'm using three different ways to talk about my suggestions. And then next, uh, in the last paragraph, I'm saying I will work with the events team to obtain cost estimates and coordinate the evening seamlessly before getting your final approval. I am looking forward to your feedback on this initial agenda. Regards, Nusha S. So it's better if you write your full name. I just didn't want my full name on here. Think of me as someone without a last name. Think of me like, Eminem or Cher. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of any of those individuals. I mean, they're, of course, good musicians, but I'm not a fan. I'm just saying, try to think of me that way. Um, so then, write your full name. Um, and then you can finish it with regards or sincerely yours or yours faithfully. Yours faithful, faithfully and sincerely yours are a bit more formal, maybe a bit too formal. So I've left them out. In the last paragraph, you want to give the person a clear course of action. So I'm saying I'm looking forward to your feedback on this initial agenda. I'm telling him, give me feedback. And then I'm also, I've also written, I will work with the events team, like what, what action am I going to take and what action do I expect you to take? So this is um, a formal writing. Remember that in formal letters, you are not going to write um, phrasal verbs. So nothing like take care of or catch up with. We don't write that. Although this is not super formal, it's semi-formal but it would be okay to err on the side of caution. And if it's about your boss, you just write a formal letter. And then one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to use expressions, slangs, and you don't want to use contractions. So you don't want to say all instead of I will. You don't want to say I'm instead of I am. Think about that when you write your uh, formal letters. And also you want to start with dear, a title and then last name with your Mr. Holmes, your Dr. Watson. Um, I'm totally in like Sherlock mindset today. And then at the end, you want to write regards. So you don't want to say hugs, kisses, of course. Um, it, it is your boss. So you want to be professional. Okay, that's all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I will be back tomorrow with yet another way to blow your nightmares away and run just like sharing okay i'll see you tomorrow bye